Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfield Automation. Last week we got done with a lot of the logical view stuff with our map view visualization. This week we're going to actually dig into the configuration view and we're going to add some configurations to this project and we're going to actually add some code in there for the HTML stuff to work. So let's hop into it and we'll, we'll get going. Alright guys, last week we got done editing these the different pages and, and getting the ref IDs set up in our project. This week we're going to move on from the logical view and go to the configuration view. So go ahead and click the configuration view tab. Then we want to make sure while we're on this tab we're highlighted over the map view. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a few things here. First we're going to do a map view configuration. We're going to add this. So go ahead and just double click it. It will get added into the project tree right here. And the next thing we want to add is this visualization. So go ahead and double click visualization. Then you'll see that gets added as well. And then the last thing we want to add is this binding. So go ahead and hit double click binding. All right, let's dig into these. Go ahead and double click on the config map view file right here. And as you can see, the configuration opens up. We just want to double check that we're set to port number 81 and it is set just right to that. So there's nothing we need to do there. Just want to double check it. Go ahead and close out of there. Then the next thing, let's open up this visualization.viz file. And then what I want to do here is we're going to hit change some of these IDs. So first we want the visualization ID uh, to be changed to our first, we're going to change the name to first visio. First Visio. Go ahead and just do that. Then come on right down here. Let's uncomment this. So this little button here with that arrow says uncomment this section. So go ahead and uncomment the, the start page. And we're going to have the start page RFID or ref ID. That's going to be page one. So go ahead and do page one just like that. And what that's saying is upon startup of this whole visualization, it's going to start, to, it's going to go to the page, the first page that we create. And then we go ahead and let's uncomment this area here. And then we're going to do the page ref ID as page one. And then we need to add our second page because we got two pages here. So go ahead and hit control C and go right below it and hit enter and control V. And we can change this to page two, just like that. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and hit save all. And then we want to open up this binding file. Go Keep this visualization thing open as well. We want to go and open up this binding file. So double click on it. And then what we want to do is this has a reference ID as well. We need to just go ahead and just copy this reference ID. So just right between the double quotes, highlight over and hit control C. And then let's go back to this visualization file right here. And we want to uncomment this binding sets. So go ahead and just uncomment the binding sets. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just right in between those two double quotes hit control V and then go ahead and hit save all. That's all I want to do this week. Next week we'll actually have a, a base program that we're going to add to this in the logical view and then we're going to have some variables that will be tied to our visualization for the temperature and the speed. All right, guys, hopefully that was informative and you learned a lot from, from this week's tutorial. Next week, we're gonna do our last tutorial in this series and what we're gonna talk about is how we turn OPC UA variables on and how we set those in our program so that we can actually view those utilizing our web pages and our web browsers and stuff like that. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. Lot, we have lots of other great content in here that may be of interest to you in regards to automation and BNR and a lot of our other great product lines that we sell at Heartfeel. And uh, yeah, hit subscribe and you can uh, start viewing all that other stuff. I hope you have a great weekend and please stay safe.